I've had uh, no issues at all, you know, with the feeding or reliability of the magazine. We've got three shots neatly into half an inch there at 100 yards, so very, very happy with that ammo. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Black Creek MRX Bison bolt action rifle. So I'll show you what it comes with. Pretty simple, just comes with a uh, user manual here. Okay, we'll go and show you all clear and then we'll give a run by of it. Now the overall weight of this is 6.9 pounds or 3.12 kilos. It does come in three different caliber options, 300 blackout, 5.56 NATO, which this is in, and 7.62 by 39. Now the barrel on it is uh, quite short, 12 and a half inches or 31.7 centimeters. It's a one and seven inch twist, so uh, should actually be quite good for stabilizing uh, those heavier projectiles. At the end, it's threaded here for half inch by 28 TPI, and we've got a two grilled uh, muzzle brake on it. Now uh, the uh, barrel, is uh, 4140 chrome molly and uh, there's a button cut rifling with it. We've also got at the top here a full length uh, Picatinny rail so obviously it's great for adding extras on you know should you want to. Now the chassis is made from uh, 6061 T6 aluminium and hard anodized so we've got uh, M-Lock uh, compatible attachments at the front here so you can throw on a heap of different um, or I should say slots sorry at the front so we can put on a heap of M-Lock attachments if you want to from you know from lights to extra you know pick rails and all sorts of things there so it comes with a single uh, 10 round AR-15 P mag obviously if you're in areas where you can use higher than 10 rounds um, you know that option is available to you because it takes a standard AR-15 magazine Mag release just on the side here, uh, nice and handy. Uh, the bolt has a um, short 60 degree uh, throw and it's got the MRX super short you know, action on it. So it's certainly not a uh, long action by any means. We've just got a uh, very straightforward safety here back and you can't fire, but you can still um, cycle the action forward. And then obviously, uh, you know, you can fire from there. Now, it comes with a uh, Maypool AR pistol grip, but I changed this out to the Hogue finger groove. I just prefer that personally, so that's what I've done on here. Other than that, it's just a standard Maypool one. The uh, rear of the stock here is just a standard uh, Maypool MOE um, adjustable stock, okay? Now, it's a mil-spec uh, buffer tube here, so if you are looking at swapping it out, just make sure you go for uh, you know, mil-spec compatible uh, stock and not a commercial one. I'd actually probably like to see the um, Magpul CTR on it because obviously you, it's very similar to the MOE but you can actually lock it down for just that little bit of a sturdier fit there. Now the trigger on this is uh, a Trigger Tech uh, Remington 700 uh, trigger. Uh, breaks nice at three and a half pounds so I don't see any real you know need to change that. On the other side here, we've got a QD attachment. So, you know, great if you're using like Magpul uh, sling with the QD attachment there. Um, you can sling it in just the right place there. So on top, um, I've put the MDT rings and we've just got a pretty cheap Bushnell AR Optics uh, scope. So guys, look, pretty uh, cheap scope and probably not my preference, but uh, you know, that's what, um, you know, came with this rifle uh, from a friend of mine. Now, uh, this is actually, the firearm is actually made uh, in Canada. So uh, $1,600 for it retails here in Australia. The MOA guarantee on it, I found, uh, you know, unusual, like it's one and a half MOA. Usually you have an MOA guarantee at 100, but this one is one and a half MOA. 
But uh, let's see if we can beat that with three shots um, out at 100 when we get out on the farm. So guys, um, that's pretty much it. The, all I can really tell you about the um, rifle at this stage anyway, uh, it's very short and uh, compact. And obviously if you like that AR style uh, look, um, this very much has it. So let's get out on the farm now, um, put some rounds down range and just see what this rifle's made of. All right guys, so we'll start off with the Ticker 55 grain soft points. We've got uh, OSA ammo loaded with the 55 grain Game King. We've got some Federal uh, 62 grain uh, tack bonded. We've got some 69 grain match from RWS and also some 69 grain uh, match from Australian Outback Ammo. So guys, what we'll do is uh, we'll do the three shot groups there down there at 100 yards and see if we can achieve better than their uh, one and a half MOA guarantee. Okay, so the first group here was with the ticker 55 grain soft points and we've come in at uh, 0.6 of an inch, so pretty happy with that. Then we come down to the OSA 55 grain uh, Sierra Game Kings. We've got three shots neatly into half an inch there at 100 yards, so very, very happy with that ammo. Then uh, our point of aim was here with the Federal 62 grain bonded ammo, but the point of impact was down here and we've had a fair bit of spread, unfortunately, so that's blown out to 1.6 inches. Then uh, we come up to the RWS with the 69 grain uh, match projectile. We've got just over an inch at 1.2 inches. Then the uh, last ammo, the Outback ammo uh, with the 69 grain uh, Sierra Match King. My point of aim was a little bit high here because I knew it was going to drop and I didn't want it to interfere with these other groups. But we've come in at an inch. So the clear winner of the day, guys, is that uh, 55 grain uh, Sierra Game King from OSA. I'm really, really happy with that because, you know, considering there's a one and a half uh, MOA guarantee with the rifle, and, uh, you know, we've done three times better <laughs> at uh, half MOA there at 100. So, yeah, really happy with that ammo. So that's going to be the ammo I'm going to use through this rifle. So being the standard AR mag, loading is very simple. You can just push down straight through the top there. I've had uh, no issues at all, you know, with the feeding or reliability of the magazine. Okay, I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home Never be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't hold on till I let go I can't hold on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home
Okay guys, that'll wrap up my final thoughts on the uh, Black Creek rifle. Now, we've got some uh, decent accuracy from it compared to what their MOA guarantee is. So, uh, you know, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'd certainly uh, be putting like a Magpul CTR stock, one where I can lock it, you know, on the back here. Um, as I say, you know, this is replaced with the hoe grip because I just find that a lot more comfortable. But that's the beauty of this platform is you can, you know, change it out with a lot of you know ar grips and obviously ar stocks there so uh, i love the fact that you can just use a standard ar magazine i mean that's fantastic um you know you can uh, get the magazines they're widely available and obviously time tested pretty reliable i've had no uh, issues at all with you know ejection or feeding or anything like that with the rifle <laughs> my only complaint of this and this is a personal thing is I tell you what, when you're using this shorter barrel with this brake, uh, you really want to be uh, double plugging. <laughs> and what I mean by that is plugs underneath a good set of earmuffs. I mean, I've got really high quality Sens digital plugs here, and uh, every round I pull off, it's just ringing in my ears from the noise of this. Um, so that's not good at all. So um, yeah, just take that into consideration, guys. It's very, very loud, okay? Uh, doesn't matter, you know, what sort of ammo you use through it, it's going to be loud. Doesn't matter whether it's the heavier ammo uh, or the lighter stuff. So yeah, just be prepared for that. I do like when, you know, shooting off the bench, just uh, the flat surface here at the bottom. Um, you know, I like the fact that we've got M-Lock um, compatibility here so there's a lot you can actually you know do to the rifle so um, yeah I mean for those of you who do like that kind of AR look and uh, you know price is fairly reasonable um, you know not a bad performing rifle at the end of the day all right guys we'll leave the review of that hope you enjoyed watching it so till next time we'll catch you then